Previously on my Lego city, I showed you guys the layout of the new city at the new house. I added all the modulars. We built out the space station that's coming in March, finished the medieval section. Now that we got through all that, I don't like the way the modulars are set up. The main city aspect feels really small. Yes, I have the police station that I have like one more bag with and then a couple more bags of the boutique hotel that I could then add these to the main city. But having three of my modulars over on the beach made the main city feel a little small because I don't have a ton of modulars. Modulars. And so I was adding Harry Potter sets to make it kind of like fill it in and I wasn't liking the way it was all looking We're doing some huge changes with the layout of the city today. So buckle up and let's get started What up you guys my name is Ryan welcome back to another video if you guys are new here hi and welcome I'm gonna show you guys the whole modular and beach flip-flop that I'm doing. Also, we're tiling the streets and adding lamps. That'll be really nice because it really makes the streets feel so much more completed other than like, rather than having studs over all the road plates. I'm super excited for what we're doing today. So last night I went downstairs and I was looking at the city and I'm like, it's a mess. And so I needed to switch that up. I needed to clean it before I even got doing anything. And that took me a good 10 minutes just to clean up the mess on the tables. Honestly, I just pushed it all to the other side of the city, so I still have the mess on the city. Yeah, very productive on my part. So after I cleaned up all the mess, I decided, okay, let me go into my computer, let me lay out the city in terms of um, modulars that I have and everything, overhead view, um, Photoshop version of my city, so I can kind of mess around with like base plates and knowing how many modulars and stuff I have. Before I just like go and wing it, I like mess around in there first. So when I did my medieval section, I ended up moving the hospital and the bookshop back one base plate, and that then allowed for when you come out of the tunnel, there's a whole street that can go right along the medieval section over to the hospital and the bookshop. That means I had to really kind of reconfigure how I wanted the city to look. I moved the road and everything over one because the hospital and bookshop are now pushed back. But then I extended it one base plate into the water and beach area. What I did is now it's gonna be this kind of giant U and I have four empty base plates that will then be in the middle. wanted is I wanted to have my modulars like front facing onto the beach but the more I like kept doing it and the more I kept uh, moving things around I want more I want a bigger city and then we can have the back of the modulars lead to the beach so that's ultimately what I decided to do um, but this is what we've got we've got a handful of blue base plates for the water so I did move the fishing shop over to here. I am actually low on a couple blue base plates. I didn't anticipate that I would need a few more. Um, I may carry the beach, maybe wrap it up around the right side. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, but for now, the train is now gonna come and wrap around the fishing shop and head back up to the Ninjago City. As you can see here, I messed around for a minute just to kind of get the road going through the beach, wrapping around the diner, and then it will slope up slowly to the Ninjago City. I brought the Parisian restaurant, the diner, and the pet shop back over to the main part of the city because again, I wanted the city part to feel more grand. It felt really kind of empty and that really helped bring in that whole wall of modulars. And again, I do have the boutique hotel and police station, like I said, that I will be adding into this. The police station will be going next to the Daily Bugle over in that empty corner. And then in these four empty base plates at the center, I have a couple different ideas next to the corner garage in the bank. That is gonna be for Diagon Alley. I do know that a lot of people do this and that's where they put the Diagon Alley in the middle, like facing each other in the middle of a city and they put the walls up. I think it's a great idea. It's a great way to integrate it into your city without feeling like a sore eye with some of those modules. I mean, not modulars, but you know what I mean, like the, the style of them don't really fit a lot of the, like the city stuff. So I do like that aspect when people do that, when they kind of incorporate it into like an alleyway. So I'm gonna do that. Anyways, in front of that, then we're gonna have the boutique hotel and I need to figure out the other corner module that I'm gonna do there. <laughs> so for now, before I build Diagon Alley, I'll probably put the boutique hotel up against either the bank or the corner garage. I don't really know which one I'm gonna put it up against for now. Uh, and then I'm gonna figure out the other 
corner modular and then probably wrap the road around. I don't know. But now on to tiling. So I got a bunch of the light gray tile pieces, a bunch of two by two tiles uh, and one by two tiles. I didn't get any of like the jumper plates or whatever they're called uh, or like the ones that have the single stud. I totally spaced to even get any of those, but I have a lot of um, little one by one tiles and one by one studs. So I'm going to add those in for the footsteps all throughout the city. This took so much longer than I anticipated. Um, and luckily I calculated pretty close to exactly what I would need. If I do add two more street plates, like I was saying earlier, I probably won't have enough tile pieces, but for now I have just enough that tiled the whole city. Uh, so I, yeah, I really, I did the math. I didn't want to overbuy on it, even though I probably should have just like in case. Uh, but yeah, I have a ton of dark bluish gray left, so that's fine with me. Um, I have a few hundred of those left, uh, but I definitely ran right to the edge of all my light gray uh, two by two tiles and the two by ones but it just looks so much better. We did add the light post about one every 14, um, like, so every 14 tiles, like two by two tiles, I added a light pretty much every 14, um, approximately. Some are a little different because of the way the, the road plates are mapped out, but we got all those added in. I had just enough and I have a few extra just in case, but yeah, I think it looks so much better than it did before. I think the city is going to feel way more wrapped. It's going to feel a lot bigger when you actually set things up. I do have this empty space that runs over to, from the bookshop to the tunnel, um, where you can see all the exposed wood. I am going to do some like faux buildings where they're like uh, four studs uh, they poke out like four studs I'm gonna do like little like street shops kind of thing like a little burger shop and whatever and I'm gonna cover up that wood with that stuff so I was really low on tile pieces a while back so I had used some of the diner pieces for the hospital mock so thankfully with my Bricklink order that I did recently I restocked on some of those dark bluish gray tile pieces and I finished tiling the uh, the diner again it really needed that even though I kind of liked how it, it blended into the sand with the beach, but I, after retiling it, I like it better tiled. So now let's take a look at where all the modulars are now placed. We have the diner right here on the corner. There is one more space for a modular, uh, but then I'd have to really mess around with the train. So I wanted to have the diner be on the edge because it's a great side modular in that aspect with it wrapping around like that white trim wrapping around the front of it. So we have the diner, we have one of the sets, like the apartment section of the pet shop, and then we have the Parisian restaurant. And then I have an empty space, but I'm gonna fill that in, don't you worry, that one's gonna be a surprise. And then next to that, we have the other side of the pet shop, we have the assembly square, then we have Daily Bugle, and then the police station will go next to that. And then in the center, again, we have got the corner garage, the bank, soon to be Diagon Alley in the middle of them, and the boutique hotel, and then one other corner modular that I'm gonna have to figure out. And across the way, we have the bookshop and the hospital. Again, the hospital is gonna get a total re, like a total makeover because I did just buy the hospital set, the new one, and so I'm gonna rip that old one apart and add on to it, make it bigger and better, so I'm excited for that. So I may make that another corner modular. We'll see when I get there. All right, you guys, if you missed my previous video, it's gonna be about why I thought the boutique hotel should have been a hospital. If you guys wanna check that out, link is down below. A lot of you already saw that, but if you didn't, you can go check it out there. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.